So I'm going to talk about a fast and cheap way to transfer files between your, your ST and your PC. And it's this, the PARCP or Parallel Copy USB. Um, you can pick one of these up for about 40 euros. And the way it works is you plug this end here into your Atari ST's parallel port. And the other side here, you use a mini USB cable, just a regular mini USB. Um, and you plug that into your PC. And then with some software, some proprietary software that I've copied, downloaded and copied onto a, an ST compatible floppy disk here, you use that to transfer files across. So I'm just going to show you how to plug it together. I've got a, a Mega ST here. So you take the parallel copy dongle, plug it into the parallel port. Then you get the, the mini USB cable and you plug that in there. And then this end here is just a regular USB that goes off to the PC. And then finally you load the custom software up on your, your ST, you load the custom software up on your PC and then you can transfer files. So now I've wired it all up, um, I'm going to go and plug it in for real and I'll show you how to copy files. Okay, so we've got the Atari ST and the PC wired together via USB. Um, over on the ST, just here, um, as I mentioned before, we've got the PARCP software copied onto a floppy disk. And let's just double check that. Yep, so we have the files here. Um, and on the PC, just here, we've got the PARCP software downloaded. Um, and if I browse to PC, Windows, um, this is the version we're going to use. Um, lastly, down here at the bottom, we have a file that we want to transfer, demo.program, and it's stored in C temp copy files via parcp. So we'll remember that. Um, so first on the ST, we go over here and we double click parserve.tos. So that starts up the server program. Once that's up, um, which it will be in just a moment, there we go, a waiting connection. Um, we go back to the PC and we run the client, parcp.exe. So I double click that. So it says connecting. Um, and you can see that over here on the right hand side, the ST server has picked up the connection. Client has configured server as follows. Um, so now on the client, we use the arrow keys um, to navigate in this shell type interface here. Um, so we go and find the file we want to transfer. So back, back through all these directories. And then, as we mentioned before, C, temp, copy files via parcp. Um, now we found the file. I press space bar to select it, F5 to copy. Do you want to copy files? Yes, we do. Enter. So here we go. Um, it's transferring across and you can see you get a progress indicator on the ST side here and on the PC side here. It's completed, received OK. Um, and it's really quick, of course, because the, the parallel port has relatively high bandwidth. Um, so now that transfer is complete. Back on the ST, I press Control Alt Shift to interrupt the server. I press Enter, and it drops me back to the ST desktop. And I can see just here that I've got my demo.program copied across. Um, let's double check that it has copied OK by running it. Double click. Yeah, that works OK. So everything looks good. Um, pretty easy, right? Uh, I think this is definitely a, a very, very easy way to copy files. Um, you know, if you haven't got anything else and you want to get started quickly and reasonably cheaply. Thank you very much.